computing is a rising trend that many organizations are switching to with each passing day. But what is it? Why has it become so important these days? Welcome to Tech Nerds, a place where you will find all the necessary tech info that you may need along the way. In this video, we will talk about what is green computing, the role of green computing in sustainable environment, and lastly, some of the best strategic approaches to green computing. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. What is green computing? Green computing or green technology is the use of computers and other computing devices in energy-efficient and eco-friendly ways. It is a study and research of developing, utilizing, as well as disposing of computing modules and devices to minimize environmental risks and pollution. Green computing is surely taking a much more holistic approach than it once did, especially as companies are brainstorming solutions to cut costs and increase their revenue. Did you know how the whole idea of green computing came into place? Well, the concept was first conceived with the launch of Energy Star in 1992 under the US Movement Environmental Agency. The IT sector has undoubtedly advanced to a whole new level with investing in green computing modules and devices by reducing the use of hazardous materials and speeding up the recycling process of electronic and digital modules the second part of our video. What is the role of green computing in a sustainable environment? We have already discussed what green computing is and how it is benefiting the IT sector, but the conversation doesn't end there. We also need to understand how it contributes to sustainable development. Thousands of people are concerned about climate and environmental issues as water levels begin to rise, natural calamities like hurricanes and tsunamis endangering lives, the ozone layer depleting and the list is never ending. Computers have become an important part of our lives, but they too are harmful for the environment. They consume lots of energy and emit carbon dioxide and if we don't dispose of them properly or recycle them, they cause pollution. Keeping all of it in view, this is when tech nerds introduce green computing to rescue our environment. You would already know by now that green computing involves reducing the environmental impact of technology. That means using less energy, reducing waste, and promoting sustainability. It aims to reduce the carbon footprint generated by the information technology in systems business and related industries. Solar energy, geothermal energy, wind energy and even hydroelectricity are all great examples of green computing. Last but not the least, it's time to discuss a few of the best approaches to green computing. Number 3. Terminal Servers Terminal servers have also been used in green computing methods. Terminal services for Windows and the AquaConnect terminal server for Mac both deliver operating systems to end users. Using this method, users terminal into a central server, and all of the computing is done at the server level but the end user experiences the operating system. Green Manufacturing a truly, a truly sustainable manufacturing process is the goal for almost all companies. The economic benefits of going green are significant and every business that has yet to move in this direction has an opportunity to discover it for themselves. Those who have already taken steps in this direction report many gains. While price and quality have long been the dominant motivations in consumers' choice rationale, the expectations have risen on other fronts too. It is as important as ever for companies to show their responsibility towards a secure environment as well. Beyond that, customers are ready to pay extra for sustainable products. Almost 85% of consumers have become greener in their purchasing in recent years. The goal should be to avoid any hazardous materials which directly affect our environment and you're all set. Number 1. Virtualization With virtualization, a system administrator could combine several physical systems into virtual machines on one single, powerful system, thereby unplugging the original hardware and reducing power and cooling consumption. Several commercial companies and open source projects now offer software packages to enable a transition to virtual computing. So this is all about green computing and sustainable development that I had to share today. 
I hope you will find this video helpful and if you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.